Hi guys, it's Danielle from Bless Old Domestic. <laughs> Today I have a grocery haul for you. This is my Costco haul. This is the first half of our September monthly shopping haul. Um, so I'm going to show you everything that we got. I will link the full blog post below so you guys can see the cost breakdown. For this, this took about half of our grocery budget. This was $345 in change. And so I will show you everything that we got. I'm filming the grocery haul here. All right, so we have down here, everything's kind of around the kitchen. For real, though. Look at Keegan. He's going to go cut the weeds. You got to wear a dark shade mask. Let me know when you're out there. I'll take a picture. Okay, we got, for I think, all right, so we're going to actually start over here. Um, we kind of have stuff spread throughout the kitchen. We got a two-pack of the barbecue sauce. The kids have already gotten into it, and it is the other parts in the fridge. We got applesauce, Nutri-Rain bars, the Premier Protein. Um, we tried these for the first time last month. I bought them at a Costco in um, Henderson or Vegas, and I really liked them, and so I got them again. These are great. I use them for a quick breakfast or a snack, especially nursing and stuff like that. you got to make sure you have snacks and stuff, healthy snacks. So I like those, especially it gives you a huge amount of protein. And there's not a lot of sugar in them, so that's awesome. We got a big bag. I believe it was $5 and change for this big bag of the shelled peanuts. Um, I love to snack on those. And then, of course, our granola bars we get all the time. We have a huge thing of toilet paper. That was $15.99. This seriously lasts us for quite a while, so I love getting toilet paper there. And then going over here, we have um, a big bag of the Kirkland brand tortilla chips, which we like. I like them because it's less than $4 for a three pound bag, and we seriously can do a bunch of meals out of it and also have a bunch of snacks. And then I think again, it was $5 and change for a, I believe it's a, how many pounds are you? Let's say um, a 10 pound bag of onions. So that is going to last us probably into October. Um, it just depends on how many onions we use. So now, go in there and look at that cute girl. My girls. Can eat the onion bag. And there's Keegan. Who doesn't wear a Darth Vader mask when they cut the weeds? What? Looking good. Okay, down over here I have a 25 pound bag of white flour. That again, that was like $5 and change. Um, I was going to get the 50 pound bag, but <coughs> excuse me, I had Tali and a baby carrier and I couldn't pick up the 50 pound bag. So, and because I went just myself and the baby. So, I could pick up the 25 pound bag though, so that's why I did that one. Okay, over here in this box you can see we have um, our mayo that we always get. I buy the Kirkland brand because it's under $5. It's cheaper than buying the, um, was it Kraft I believe? I got uh, minced garlic. We got a thing of, I love their strawberry jam. I like to make jam, but we're just not making it right now. Um, once we get back into canning, we'll be able to do it. Bless you, Keegan. But I love this jam because if you look at the ingredients, you can read everything. There's no high fructose corn syrup. Um, over here we have... Um, I love to get these, the bacon crumbles. They can be in your pantry, and then once you open them, you put them in the fridge. Bless you. We love to throw, bless you, throw these into salad, put on pizza. Um, I also really like them in quesadillas, like a cheese and bacon quesadilla. Those are really good. Um, over here, we have our sour cream and our cream cheese. Our Go-Gurts. Keegan has been waiting for these forever. Bless you. And he will end up putting more, probably the whole box, or at least half of them, in the freezer. He loves to eat them frozen. Um, here we have our cheese. We have some shredded cheese left over in the fridge from when I went shopping uh, last week. Um, because, so this is our first monthly haul. We were just kind of just doing a little bit just to kind of get settled here in Tucson. So I do have some cheese left over. So this will be good for the whole month. And then um, I got a thing of mozzarella that I will... Um, open this up and put it all into gallon sized bags. And then we got our sharp cheddar cheese. I'm hoping when I do another trip to fries I can find a block of pepper jack. I have found that buying it in the block is cheaper than buying the, the sliced cheese for sandwiches. We still have Colby Libby. Okay, here a big thing of the chicken <coughs> patty, excuse me. This was one thing that Libby had requested. She requested a breaded chicken sandwiches for dinner one night this month. So we got a big bag of these, 
And these will be great. This is going to last us into October. We'll definitely use these for lunches and stuff like that. Granola in a two pack. This is going to last us at least two months. It really just depends on how much granola we have. And I got a thing of frozen strawberries, frozen berries. And for $4.99, the cherry tomatoes, which we love. And then Hubby requested red vines. So instead of him going to the store, sometimes he runs to the stores to get whatever snackish thing he's craving. So I said, let me get you a big tub and then you won't be tempted to run back it's to the glorious. store. So this is a five pound, um, five and a half pound thing of red vines and it was eight dollars. Oh, sorry. Uh -huh. Okay, moving over here. I got these. Um, I love these crunchy rice rollers. They only have um, four grams of sugar. I haven't gotten those in a while. Yeah, I haven't gotten them in a while. I wanted to get them just because, so right now, with just nursing and, you know, there's some things that you can find out, you'll find out that you really can eat because it makes the baby gassy. And one of those things has been sugar, like treats like brownies and stuff like that. So I want to get something that I can still have when I want something sweet, but something that's not going to hurt her little tummy. We got some English muffins. Um, I will keep one out and put the rest of them in the freezer chest. Same thing with the hot dog buns and hamburger buns. Back here we have Carnation Instant Breakfast. I love this because the kids can make quick smoothies or I can do it. Um, so we like to have those chicken nuggets, which the kids have already gotten into. Uh, canned corn. That's chicken. Um... This is just like the BB2 powder, um, but it's the whatever brand Costco is carrying right now. Pretty good. Yeah, so we, we like to do milk, a banana, one of those Carnation Instant Breakfast packets, okay, and then um, whatever the serving size is. Usually, it's, I think it's a tablespoon. That's pretty, you bought it again. Yeah. That was, they only had it. Oh organic. My um, and that makes kind of like a peanut butter chocolate smoothie. It is so good. Uh, we got raisins. We eat raisins as snacks. Also, we put it into muffins and breads, and then definitely we put it into salads. We love raisins and salads. I need to make raisin bread. You have to make that one. Oh, I haven't made raisin bread. You should do a video on that. I should do a video on that. Uh, fig bars. My kids love these. Um, they're whole wheat. Over here, two of these, you know, Prego pasta sauce. These we get at least two to three meals out of each jar. Typically, I can do two spaghetti dinners and then um, at least one or two pizzas with the sauce. So this right here for, I believe it was it was six ninety nine or seven ninety nine. Again, I'll link it in the post below. Um, but we're gonna get about six meals out of that. Did I? Oh, I'm sorry. You just pulled it out. Oh, sorry. Oh, okay. We got for ten dollars. We got the Organic Animal Crackers, Kirkland brand. We love these. Everyone loves these. Um, five dozen eggs. I was so glad to see these were just around $5. I think I mentioned in another video that at Fry's they were um, almost 8 or $9, which we've been paying under $4 in um, Henderson. So I was very excited to see these for um, a lot cheaper. So five dozen. And... See, is that oh and then get this stuff over here yeah I got that okay. and then in here we have a big thing of the boneless skinless chicken breast this was $19.99 and oh she was like putting her is she holding your hand yeah but she was putting that in her mouth oh she's so cute we love her hold on so the chicken is I was trying to see how many pounds it is so it's 10 pounds of chicken for $19.99 that ended up being $1.99 a pound. And so you can close the freezer, but this is everything that we got for $345. Um, this is the first half of our monthly grocery haul for September. Um, I will include our menu plan at the end of this video and also in the blog post. Bless you. And let's give you one more. Look at that cute girl. And then just that stuff. And over there. And so in mm -hmm. No, I didn't. All right, so I'm going to share our menu plan for this month. What I did is that I came up with about, I want to say it's like 30 meals for September. So actually today, it's actually the last week of August. So I kind of have a little bit of a rollover. Um, but so we have 30 meals planned. Um, these will take us into the first week of October because I kind of like to overlap it so that I have time to plan and to gear up for our next shopping trip. Um, but so for everything that we're going to get in that you see in this video and then in my second uh, monthly grocery video for fries grocery store, 
Um, that's everything that we need for all these meals and then for snacks and stuff like that. Um, before I share my menu plan, I did just want to share, you know, some of the things that you see. Like, for example, the applesauce. There's four jars in there. We're not going to eat four jars of applesauce in one month. So that, we typically go through one jar of applesauce a month. So that's four months worth of applesauce. And then I don't have to worry about buying applesauce for a few months. So that's one thing when you're buying in bulk is that although it can seem like a whole lot at once, when, you, when you're spreading it out, you're restocking on different things each month and you're not buying the same thing every single month. Um, same thing with a lot of our um, granola bars, things like that. We'll probably go through one box of granola bars though, but like the Nutrien bars, I sometimes will try to split up the boxes <coughs> excuse me, and kind of put things out of sight, out of mind. Just put a few things in the pantry and then hide the other stuff. This also helps it be able to last the whole month and sometimes last into the next month. But so our menu plan for um, the month of September, there's 30 days in September. So again, that's why I did 30 meals. And of course, we will have other um, breakfast nights and we will have leftover nights. And then sometimes like when dinner plans go awry and I just have to have a backup. Uh, pancakes is always a backup. Also mashed potatoes with gravy and vegetables is always a backup. Um, and sometimes, you know, life happens and maybe we'll just have tuna salad sandwiches or something like that. So we always have those as backups. But so our menu plan for this month is, the first is cheddar broth with baked beans and fruit salad. We're going to do spaghetti and garlic breadsticks two times at least. Um, we're going to do a cheesy pasta bake, beef stroganoff. I will link that recipe below. I have that tutorial video on my uh, channel. A barbecue chicken sandwiches with potato salad and fruit, sweet potato. Um, I make those the same way I do the russet potatoes in the crock pot. I'll link that below as well or somewhere on this page. Um, we're going to do egg and sausage burritos. Taco night we're going to do twice. I'm going to do one with ground turkey and one with this salsa chicken that we really like. Um, we're going to do enchiladas with the leftover meat from taco night. So we'll have enchiladas probably twice this month. Uh, bean and cheese burritos, nacho night, alfredo pasta, we're going to do two nights. Um, we're going to do barbecued meatballs, black bean burgers, 13 bean chili with cornbread, um, black beans with rice and cornbread, oh, no. breaded chicken sandwiches, tuna cakes, um, a baked potato bar, Hawaiian haystacks, meatloaf, tikka masala, we use the mayor or the um, sauce from, it's the private selection sauce from Kroger, which is also Smith's and Fries. Oh, thank you, Libby. Um, deli ham sandwiches, chicken pot pie, French toast, pancakes, egg sandwiches, and frittatas with hash browns. That's about 30 meals. So again, we'll have leftover nights and things like that. Um, if I ever find that we have a lot of leftovers in our fridge that I can roll over into a new meal, I totally will do that. And that's you can go there. Um, that's a time that I will totally veer from the menu plan. Um, but so I'm excited to try these. And so make sure that if you um, have not seen the second part, that you guys stay tuned for it. And I hope you guys are having a fabulous day. If you are new to this channel, hit that button and subscribe. And I think that is it.